Florence Trucker here. Uh, week four. Week four at rail. We are done. We are in the books. I'm on home to uh, Kentucky going through some relatively intense traffic outside Gary, Indiana. Uh, week four. <clears throat> so, you, you heard me talk about week three and uh, the snafus we had with driver's testing. So, we went in Monday morning of week four and took our CDLs. Now, our CDL test. The uh, CDL trainers in Gary, Indiana have two, they have two uh, examiners. Both of them are, uh, are decent, are good, you know, they're kind, uh, they're to the point. There's the railway of taking the CDL, and then there's the examiner's way of taking the CDL. And even rail will tell you that do what the examiner tells you to do. So, uh, in a lot of cases, they simplify. I won't say simplify. Uh, they make, they streamline the process of your CDL. Your pre-trip inspection specifically will be more streamlined because they just don't have enough time in the day to test as many people as they need to with only two examiners. So, having said that, uh, it was not a bad experience. It was relatively painless, um, not super nerve-wracking, but we got it. So, me and the two guys I was with, they got it, and the rest of the class I was attached to, uh, we had one more person that had to test today, and that made a total of nine of us out of nine that got our CDLs. So, the remainder of the week, um, a lot less stress. We had a chance to do some uh, 45 degree and 90 degree angles, uh, moving some trailers around the yard and experiencing backing them up in between other trailers. And then we went on a couple of long drives, uh, stayed within the 150 mile zone. And then we also had a chance to go out to a truck stop and uh, practice real live uh, backing techniques and parking techniques while we were there too. And then Thursday and Friday are your uh, are your uh, days for training on how to uh, secure your equipment on the trailer. Uh, those days, these, <laughs> these were a couple of very long days. Maybe it was because it was the end of the week. Um, Thursday is all classroom. And then you have to take a test, and then you have to pass that test. Uh, it's not hard, but after sitting in the classroom all day, the last thing you want to do is take a 72-question quiz at around 3.30 after you've just spent the entire day with death by PowerPoint. But it's something that's required to pass. So we did that on Thursday, and then Friday, this today, we spent most of the day outside doing load securement. We... Uh, practiced using uh, the slings and, and uh, some of the other equipment on how to secure our flatbeds, or how to secure our equipment on the flatbed. And as you can see, I now have a, a cute little rail hat. We all got one for graduating, so I'm wearing that. Uh, today at 12.30, we had a chance to see um, the lady that sets us up with phase two. Uh, she asked us some questions, briefs us real quick. Uh, a couple of us have already met our train, or have already gotten calls from our trainers. I'm expecting to be today's Friday. I'm expecting to be back on the road with a trainer no later than next Wednesday. So I'll be home for about four days, and I think that Wednesday I'll have a trainer. I should know more by Monday uh, for sure. But I've got to go in now and try to get my CDL from Kentucky onto the DMV and, and hope that they've got it. I also need to get out of the fast lane here. Rail says if we are driving home and we get a speeding ticket driving home after week four, that we're fired. So, when I get into the slow lane here, I was going a little fast. I was about three miles over the speed limit, so I'm going to back off. Uh, their reasoning, if you guys are CDL drivers or professional drivers now, we expect you to act like it. Okay, fine. It's going to take me a little longer to get home. 
but such is life. So I'll get home about nine tonight. But anyway, week four. Uh, once you had your, once you taken your CDL, uh, the stress, a lot of the stress is off. Um, it's a little bit more uh, manageable working. The last two days, if you're if you're in the in the, in the uh, get your CDL program, the GYCDL, uh, you will work till five on Friday, and those two days will kind of be drug on drug. They'll just be slow, uh, but just get through it, and then um, now I move on to phase two, and we'll see what happens. I know that after phase two. Uh, I gotta go back to Gary, go through one more test, and go through some backing and close quarters training before they'll issue me my truck. So I'll uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes when I if I get picked up on Wednesday. I'll uh, let you know probably next Friday or Saturday. Give you a video, let you know what the experience is like, and uh, go from there. Talk to you soon.